Here we have the Zoom H6, a self-contained recorder. Of course, we can plug different microphones into the uh, Zoom H6. Tons of features on this unit. But what we're testing in this video is the two XY microphones, the unidirectional condenser microphones on voice for YouTube or podcasting or voiceovers, so on and so forth. And those who are not aware, whenever you buy the Zoom H6, it of course comes with a windscreen. Also, you get your hard case. And of course, you get a uh, mid-side microphone as well. But for this video, let's just focus on the sound of our XY mics on voice. Here we are in Pro Tools and we have four different samples. We have raw samples on the top, process samples on the bottom. The process samples are run through Isotope Nectar 2 and that's because it has an EQ, uh, gate, deesser, dynamics like you know compressors, limiters, things like that, all within one interface so we get that professional uh, voice sound. And the raw samples have been adjusted up in volume for a better listening and judging experience simply because if we heard this at the level it was recorded at and then went into a processed sound sample, the difference would just be too jarring. So for example, XY microphones, the Zoom H6, that volume difference is just, you know, just a way too much there. So that's why we have raised the volume on many of these raw samples, as you can see there at the uh, clip gain level. All right. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and listen to the Zoom H6 XY microphone. The Zoom H6 XY microphones at about two feet away. Two feet away from the Zoom H6 XY microphones. The Zoom H6 XY microphone at about two feet away. Two feet away from the Zoom H6 XY microphones. The Zoom H6 XY microphones from about one foot away. Listen to the voice, is it clear? Is it articulate? How does it sound? Do we get any proximity effect yet? How does the voice sound? Is this the sort of sound that you want for your podcast or for your YouTube video? The Zoom H6 XY microphones from about one foot away. Listen to the voice, is it clear? Is it articulate? How does it sound? Do we get any proximity effect yet? How does the voice sound? Is this the sort of sound that you want for your podcast or for your YouTube video? The Zoom H6 XY microphones at around six inches away. Now, as you can tell from this distance, it really sounds pretty good, at least in my opinion, about six inches away from the XY microphones here on the Zoom H6. It captures the voice very well. It's articulate, it's open, it sounds good overall. That's the XY microphones on the Zoom H6 from around six inches away. The Zoom H6 XY microphones at around six inches away. Now, as you can tell from this distance, it really sounds pretty good, at least in my opinion, about six inches away from the XY microphones here on the Zoom H6. It captures the voice very well. It's articulate, it's open, it sounds good overall. That's the XY microphones on the Zoom H6 from around six inches away. The Zoom H6 XY microphones from around two inches away. So now we're really close. We're right up there on these microphones. Uh, are we experiencing a proximity effect that you get with say a large condenser microphone? How does it sound? Is the voice clear? Is it articulate? Is this the sort of sound you want for your podcast or your YouTube video? or whatever sort of close miking work uh, you need to do. This is the Zoom H6 XY microphones at about two inches away. Right now, I'm right in the middle of these microphones, but if I go off to one side, or if I go off into the other side, obviously that's going to affect the balance of our signal there, whether it's left or, or right. Again, around two inches away from the Zoom H6 XY microphones. The Zoom H6 XY microphones from around two inches away. So now we're really close. We're right up there on these microphones. Uh, are we experiencing a proximity effect that you get with say a large condenser microphone? How does it sound? Is the voice clear? Is it articulate? Is this the sort of sound you want for your podcast or your YouTube video or whatever sort of close miking work uh, you need to do? This is the Zoom H6 XY microphones at about two inches away. Right now, I'm right in the middle of these microphones, but if I go off to one side, or if I go off into the other side, obviously that's going to affect the balance of our signal there, whether it's left or, or right. Again, around two inches away from the Zoom H6 
XY microphones. Okay, so that is the Zoom H6 XY microphones. One thing you might have noticed there is those, those are very sensitive, uh, very sensitive microphones. You almost have to have a room that's completely quiet to not get any background noise whatsoever uh, in, uh, in your capture there because they are very sensitive microphones. You could, of course, always use something like a RX to remove background noise and, and whatnot as well, but very good microphones overall. They work well directly on the voice without having to you know, plug in a condenser microphone or a dynamic microphone to the Zoom H6. You could just use the uh, XY microphone there to capture your voice in a very high quality fashion there, as you heard. So that is the Zoom H6 XY microphones.